So, hey guys, um, a very good evening. So, before we move towards string buffer and string builder, so, we will do a job, okay? First, we will make a class, okay? And what will we do in that? We will implement string and implement it. And what will we do in that? We will do a code flow too. Because last previous video, I did not explain the code flow. So, uh, specifically, what will we do here? We will make a क्लास बनाएंगे ठीक है और उसमें क्या करेंगे स्ट्रिंग का इस्तेमाल करेंगे और उसका कोड फ्लो भी समझेंगे ठीक है इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेमोरी एरिया आल्सो सो सेशन नंबर 64 सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सेशन नंबर 64 सपोज या दिस इज सेशन नंबर 64 सो क्रिएटिंग क्लास सो द टारगेट इज टारगेट ओके लेट मी सेट माय कीबोर्ड फर्स्ट क्रिएट ए क्लास क्रिएट ए क्लास ओके एंड डिस्कस द कोड फ्लो Discuss the code flow, okay, related to string, related to string. There are many things, that's why I have chosen this. So let me create one code, okay, then I'll discuss everything, okay. For example, let's create a new class. So string test two, let's go for new, okay, class. Otherwise, do one thing, delete this class, okay, delete. Okay, we create a new class, package, new, go for class. What's the name of the class? Let's take a string test. S T R I N G. Okay. T S T. String test. This is my class. Okay. I've created a class. Let me create one main method. End of end of class. Usually we write I write it. End of class. Now this is main. This is going to be the main method, right? M A I N. Control the space bar. If you do not know this, then I'm sorry, I cannot explain this. Go back to the lecture and please watch it. End of main method because we are too ahead, not much, but too ahead now. End of main method. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'll create one string using string literal. I'll create one string using new operator and I'll calculate the length. Okay, so there are some operations that we can do so we can have that string. Okay. Okay, that's a class, man. String, string s1 equal to, for example, I take Java. Okay, string s1 equal to Java. So, string string s2 equal to new string string of uh, hello. Take something, your choice. Okay. So these are your choice. कोई भी string लिख सकते हो आप ठीक है? मैं s1, s2 ले लिया ठीक है? And okay, I'm doing this. What else I can do? I can calculate the length. Okay, s y s o. Okay, s y s o. Calculate the length. Length of okay length of s1 ठीक है? So s1 one object is created and I'm calculating the length. So if you want to know the length of a string. So write the object uh, string name s1 dot okay it provides a a non-static method called length okay so it returns it return type is what int you can hover over length method ठीक है इसके ऊपर hover करो ठीक है देख क्या बोल रहा है int return कैसे कर रहा है int so ठीक है ये हो गया इसी तरह s2 का भी length देख लो s y s o ठीक है s2 length s2 ln तो okay कुछ भी लिख दो ठीक है plus s2 dot length okay why s2 dot length i'm looking for length okay yeah right okay let me run this code run as java application java application so you can see length of s1 is 4 because inside java java is written no? how many letters are there 4 are there so that's why the length is 4 java application and s2 length is 5 because h e double l o 3 2 4 1 5 so this is how many 5 are there so the length is 5 and one more thing very important point in a string even though it is a string then it has index value remember okay so i am writing it here note very important note even a string even a string when created a string object as a list we can write like this as a list okay? created string object as created string object has what index value index value so, okay control s okay so that's why he's able to for example i can give here for example if i'm taking a string as java so j a b suppose a okay so i'm giving a space here so j is in j place it will be zero a place it will be one v place it will be two and three and length is equal to how much length is equal to 
4 okay always 1 plus uh, length equal to 4 so here length is 4 okay so this is what actually happens here okay now when we talk about this one so okay let me talk about the uh, how this how this works okay so let me discuss the code flow okay control c i'll go to the paint okay i'll take up a one paint i'll take one paint brush so i have not increased the size i'll decrease it first let me expand this Control Z. Okay, all right. Give a second. Well, well, let me adjust the size. Okay, so I can discuss the code flow over here. Okay, so I'm I'm pasting here. Control V, change it to black. Control A, Control A, bold. Do everything bold. Take it to black, adjust the size. Okay, we are almost done, guys. We are almost done. Okay, so first of all, what it happens is first of all, uh, I'm going to talk about JVM architecture. There is a separate video which I'll upload, which I'm going to upload on JVM architecture. But here it's very important to discuss about the JVM architecture. So I'm discussing it. First of all, what it happens is it uh, it has in JVM architecture we have something called method area we have something called heap area and we have something called stack area so when we talk about method method area so this is suppose let's consider this as method area okay and let's consider this one as heap area and let's consider this as one as stack area okay we take one more color here can I scroll this Okay, I have not increased this size. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm not seeing the pointers here. Do I scroll this one? What the hell is this one? Okay, okay, and no worries. We'll take something okay we'll take here something stack area okay so this is my stack area okay so this is my method area this is my method area method area this is my heap area and this is my stack area so this is my stack area so first of all the control comes here right the control comes here so the class will be loaded so the class will always be loaded into method area so we have class this is our class this class okay so this class name is what we have given spring uh, string test okay so this class gets loaded here in method area so the class is getting loaded after this class is loaded the main method okay main method is copied over here in a stack area so always the method execution happens in a stack area when it comes here so this is first so first we have done so first it is done it is here one it is done okay after this it comes to this line okay this is the second thing that is done okay so the method is copied on to stack area then inside the method execution starts so it comes here in this line so what it sees is string s1 equal to java so first what it does it in stack uh, in heap area it creates one memory space one special memory is created always so that's why i have chosen to this diagram because scp is important here whenever any string is there one special memory is created that memory is nothing but called string constant pool that is called SCP okay or called STRI in the string constant pool string constant pool so this is what it is called so string constant pool okay so one area is created in this one object will be created by one object is created and that object is having the data called Java that object is having the data called java okay so here one object is created and it is having something j a v a j a v a whatever the data you have given here in this so it is happening here so 
when it is created and then this is referenced this is referenced by s1 so this object name is what s1 so after this third it is done so he has come to this line this line particular this okay so this is done same way here so but but uh, this is new new operator process so what it happens is it creates one more when it sees new string hello okay so first it will call string hello so it creates one more object in scp string whenever string is involved then always the objects are created first in scp string constant pool okay so here one object is created and this object will have the data called hello h e double l o for example and the memory for example let's take uh, here the memory is given like 0x triple 1 so this is the memory okay in scp 0x triple 1 this memory now uh, this is not referenced by s2 but s2 will be created outside of heap area remember because this is new operator process so this object s2 will be created here somewhere in heap area so this is somewhere it is created so this will be s2 object okay so now we can call this object as s2 and this s2 object is having the reference of 0x triple 1 which is indirectly pointing to what indirectly pointing to the object that is there in scp so this comes from here that hello okay i will explain this again what happens okay so let me explain this again so i put a number here so i am working working on this for example the control is here so first of all what he does when he sees new string hello तो जब वो देखता है स्ट्रिंग हेलो तो सबसे पहले वो एससीपी पे पहुंचता है ठीक है एक ऑब्जेक्ट बनाता है और उसमें उसके अंदर जो भी तुमने यहां पे डेटा रखा हुआ है हेलो तो वहां पे नहीं स्टोर कर देगा और फिर उसको क्या ऑलवेज ऑब्जेक्ट को हमेशा मेमोरी एड्रेस मिलता है 0x11 मान लो कि यहां पर मिला हुआ है फिर वो क्या करेगा उसको ये बात पता है कि ये ऑब्जेक्ट कैसे बन रहा है न्यू की मदद से बन रहा है तो जब भी न्यू की मदद से ऑब्जेक्ट बनता है तो न्यू की मदद से जब भी ऑब्जेक्ट बनता है तो वो हीप एरिया में बनता है ठीक है ठीक है तो एक ऑब्जेक्ट बनाएगा ही एरिया के अंदर और उसको क्या बोलेगा s2 बोलेगा ठीक है यहां पे हमने नाम s2 दिया है ना सो so s2 बोलेगा और उसके अंदर किसका एड्रेस होगा उसके अंदर उसका एड्रेस होगा जो जो ऑब्जेक्ट बना हुआ है scp के अंदर सो so इनडायरेक्टली s2 किस किसको पॉइंट कर रहा है हेलो को ही पॉइंट कर रहा है बट थोड़ा सा क्या होता है यहां पे फर्क होता है ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएशन में ठीक है स्ट्रिंग लिटरल प्रोसेस में और न्यू न्यू में ठीक है फिर इसके बाद क्या होता है फिफ्थ लाइन पे पहुंचता है ठीक है यहां पे पहुंचता है जब वो यहां पे पहुंचता है तो फिर वो, वो प्रिंट करता है s1 डॉट लेंथ तो ये एक मेथड है ठीक है प्री डिफाइंड मेथड पहले से बना हुआ है जो कि क्या करता है स्ट्रिंग की लेंथ कैलकुलेट करता है ठीक है और वो हमें क्या करता है प्रिंट कर देता है इसके बाद ये सिक्स्थ हो गया ठीक है ये वाला क्या करेगा ये लाइन एग्जीक्यूट होती है और इसके बाद क्या हो जाता है मेन मेथड क्या हो जाता है टर्मिनेट हो जाता है सो so, इस तरह से क्या होता है कि इस तरह से हमारा प्रोग्राम क्या होता है एग्जीक्यूट होता है सो दिस इज ऑल रिलेटेड टू द कोड फ्लो ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम आई होप एवरी वन हैव अंडरस्टूड विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल वी द नेक्स्ट सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट द स्ट्रिंग बफर एंड बिल्डर वी विल वर्क ऑन इट एंड सेम वे विल डिस्कस द कोड एंड देन आफ्टर we'll discuss the theoretical part then we'll implement it and we'll have the code flow also thank you have a nice day